right, so first of all, I showed you guys this in the original video, but to activate, to toggle between the success scores, let me just show that really quick here. I'm going to first put the default one on the multi-factor success score. Let me just go back here and I'm going to run X-ray on this page and let me explain how the uh, success score is working here on this page. Okay, so now it should have loaded. I'm going to run X-ray, whoops, page is not, oh, there it is right there. Okay, so what's gonna happen here is they're going to show this number and, and the biggest thing that I wanna show you guys of what it doesn't mean is it does not mean like some kind of special uh, good or bad for this listing, all right? So just because it says 17 doesn't mean it's bad necessarily, all right? What does this mean? It's just taking uh, some different aspects on this page that sellers are uh, have told us indicate to them opportunity or not opportunity, and then we will give it a rating based on that set of things. If you're ever wondering what that set of things are, you just put your mouse over uh, here like I am doing, and you can see what it's basing it off of. Now, the thing that most people I think are using nowadays is the two-factor success score, all right? So I'm gonna hit here settings, and I'm gonna switch it over to the two-factor success score. Now, what I am putting right here is I'm saying that I want um, as many as possible of the top 10 products on the page to have at least $5,000 of revenue. You can put anything you want here, but I'm just saying I'm gonna put $5,000 of revenue uh, right here. Um, I believe this is, this is similar to what they taught in the nine university program that a lot of you guys have come from. They were the ones who told us to, to implement this and we thought it was a good idea. Uh, but we just took it a step farther and we allowed you to kind of like put your own input here as to what, uh, success means to you. All right. So out of the top 10, we want as many as possible under this scenario to have at least $5,000 estimated monthly revenue at the same time out of the top 10, we are saying that we want as many listings as possible to have less than 75 reviews. I can change this to a hundred. I can change it to 50. I can change it to whatever floats my boat. Um, right now, I'm just going to keep it at 75. And the ideal thing of this is we are saying we want uh, there to be at least seven products out of the first 10 to have um, sales over $5,000 and at least seven products out of the first 10 to also be able to have less than 75 reviews. So once you go ahead and you know run this, what's going to happen right here is it is going to give you that score. So right here, this is a nine because nine out of the top 10 products on this page have sales over $5,000. However, only one out of the 10 products, top 10 products, have reviews under 75, all right? So ideally, um, what you would want is maybe seven or uh, and seven or seven and eight or eight and eight, something as close to that 10, that top 10, um, if that's what sales indicate to you. Now, if you don't see that here, like if you don't see that here, you can actually go and hit this related keywords button OK, it's going to kind of take an autocomplete from this collagen peptides and see some other long tail keywords. And it will tell me right here whether it uh, matches. Now, all of these keywords, it is not matching. It, it doesn't hit the seven and seven either. But right here, I can see some longer tail keywords so I can expand out my keyword research that way to see if I can find uh, some niches or some keywords that hit this figure. So me personally, I have this uh, set on mine to this two-factor success score so that I can just have a real easy insight into how many products are performing for sales and how many products have lower number of reviews. You guys could use either this format or that um, multi-factor success score uh, to remember to do it, you just go here to Chrome extension and you can hit the settings and you'll be able to toggle back and forth between those two features. Hope you guys like that video. That's the last video for X-Ray. The next tool that we're going to go over in the Chrome extension is ASIN Grabber. So make sure to check that next video.